hello guys uh, so it's the 31st of October today and it's the last day of the month and tomorrow we are going to start a new month and um, yeah so I thought um, why should I not have a reset day because I didn't have one um, for a long time so I thought I started fresh for the last two months of 2023. The 2023 is going to get over. Like, I don't know uh, how far like it went. It's crazy, guys. It's gone so fast. And now only we have left two months. So, yeah, let's uh, reset for the last two months of 2023. And yeah, let's get started. So what I actually mean by doing a self-care or reset day is uh, doing a few activities that actually makes me happy and things that I really love to do when I stay at home. So yeah, um, I'll be doing a few activities that make me happy and maybe like make me feel refreshed to start my um, new month. You guys will watch it and will enjoy it. Thank you. So guys, hi, um, I did a workout and it's, it's a really um, small workout, like for 15 minutes only I did and uh, I'm sweating like a pig and uh, yeah, uh, I have to let myself to cool down and then maybe have a nice shower and I'll see you after that. Hello. So I finally had my wash and I feel so fresh now. Um, yeah, time to do my skincare. As usual, you, you all know what I do for my skincare. Um, So I wanted to talk to y'all this time as well uh, because uh, there has been a few requests on my videos uh, to make videos about acne awareness. So uh, me being myself a person who is having acne and a person who is suffering from it daily, uh, I don't want to call it a suffering but um, yeah it is a suffering for a girl actually because uh, we do care about our appearance, right? So, whichever way we say that we should not care, but still, uh, when we go outside and uh, when we meet people, um, uh, when people's eyes, mostly what I notice, um, as a person who is having and suffering from acne, um, is that when we talk to a person, some people, um, they their eyes go through our I mean, I mean like their eyes are all over our face and um, that makes us uncomfortable and then uh, I mean like I get incredibly uncomfortable uh, and uh, I totally forget even forget what I want to talk with them so there are things that we we suffer so uh, I'm not going to say that you should not um, think about it or uh, you should just you know it's not a thing that you should worry about because um, 
as a girl, as a person, uh, we are all humans and we are all sensitive people. So uh, we all have different stories and different um, ways in which we deal with things. So for everybody, it's different. So what I am using these days is that uh, this is something that I've been practicing. Um, I'm not saying that I'm still perfect at it and there are times I still feel low and uh, very negative but um, this always makes me feel better. I try to accept myself the way I am and uh, whenever I feel low about myself I try to think um, what my skin do for me like um, how much it protects me and and um, what it does to keep myself going every day and um, I think about it and give myself some love and uh, I think self-love is something that we should all practice and uh, it's something that uh, we all need as humans when we are going in this society as this society is not a very uh, calm and happy place for all of us so giving yourself some time some self-love and um, you know just trying to accept yourself the way you are um, even though you're not perfect because everybody is not perfect so trying to be yourself and accepting yourself the way you are is the best thing that you can do uh, when it comes to these kind of problems and another thing that I'd like to say is to people who give comments on uh, how we look and uh, you know sometimes for example like people give comments on how much uh, my pimples have increased right um, I personally know that my pimples have increased and the, I'm suffering with that the person who is suffering they know that they are having more pimples right so I think you should not um, tell that to that person like you, you you don't have to tell that to that person right uh, so giving comments like that that doesn't support the person if if anybody is thinking that uh, it's a supportive thing but please don't do that because it's not a thing that supports another person it's um, actually ruining the confidence another person is having and uh, in Sri Lanka I think mostly um, in our culture what we say is uh, we give compliments and uh, all those comments when we meet a person after a long time based on their physical appearance so I think that's something that we should stop and uh, we should rather give uh, comments regarding how happy they are right how successful they are not regarding uh, their physical appearance because who cares right like it doesn't matter like uh, you know like we are all not supermodels or like we are all not that so uh, we should not frame ourselves into one category and uh, we should always enjoy for who we are and like try to be ourselves not anybody else so I think that's one message that I wanted to tell so I've done uh, all the talking and I think I should make the plan for my November that's what the blog is about and uh, yeah Let's get back to my vlog. So I actually didn't have to uh, make a whole timetable for this week because last Monday I made my week timetable. So I had what I needed to do and I just had to jot down what I have to do tomorrow in my um, small list of tasks. to do is to journal a bit and uh, gather my thoughts down and write my words for the month of November and yeah let's start writing <laughs>
what you are feeling without agonizing over it it is a life skill every bit of it is important as learning how to read without it dissatisfaction build up arguments break out and relationships can blow up like volcanoes <laughs> 